this new format, which is a whiteboard discussion. Um, and my first trial candidate is going to be a discussion about soft tissue sarcomas in dogs. So um, soft tissue sarcomas are one of the most common tumors that we see in dogs, and they occur or they comprise about 15% of all skin and subcutaneous tumors. Um, so skin and sub Q. Um, they're less common in cats, but we do see in cats the um, injection site sarcomas, which are particularly nasty um, and behave much more aggressively than their canine counterparts. So when we look at soft tissue sarcomas, we're going to have two different issues to be concerned about. We have the primary tumor that you can see and feel, and we have the potential for secondary metastasis or spread. Now, the best predictor of secondary metastasis is the histological grade of the tumor, remembering that you can sometimes make a diagnosis of a soft tissue sarcoma based on cytology, but um, you aren't going to make, uh, be able to definitively diagnose the tumor as far as histologic subtype, and you're not going to be able to uh, determine a grade based on cytology. So uh, grade is determined histologically only, which uh, means that you're going to have to do a biopsy on it. Now, they're graded 1, 2, and 3, and that's based on mitotic rate, percentage uh, necrosis in the tumor, and degree of differentiation. Grade 1 tumors have about a 5% chance of secondary spread. Grade twos are about 10% chance of secondary spread. Grade threes are about 50% chance of secondary spread. And it's been shown that chemotherapy does not prevent secondary spread with soft tissue sarcoma. So that's not something that we're going to reach for, um, even in your high grade tumors. Now, as far as the primary tumor is concerned, the first line of defense is surgery, as we're all aware. Now, when we do a surgery, uh, for soft tissue sarcoma, we're going to check our surgical margins, and margins are the best predictor of local recurrence. Again, differentiating local recurrence from secondary spread. Local recurrence is when you have the same tumor come back in the same place, whereas secondary spread is when, uh, or metastasis is when you have another tumor show up uh, in another location that's spread either through lymphatics or through um, uh, the blood. And so margins are predictive of local recurrence. Now, what does uh, what do margins mean? So with a tumor, say we've got a tumor that's sitting here like this, and we assume that they're going to be tentacles extending in all directions. When we do a surgery uh, for cancer, we want to do a surgery that looks like this, that goes all the way around all of the predicted um, uh, tentacles. And so I see that that's not very visible on our uh, video. And so say our tumor is sitting here, and we've got tumor extensions going out in all directions, we want to do a surgery that looks like this, going completely around all those tentacles, not like this. And this would be called a clean margin, and this would be called a dirty margin. So we want to make sure that we get a clean margin. Um, if we do get a clean margin, the chance of local recurrence is less than 5%. Whereas if we get a dirty margin, the chance of recurrence is 75% on the trunk and about 30% on the extremities. Now that gives you the idea that extremity soft tissue sarcomas maybe are less aggressive than those occurring on the trunk, and that is in fact the case. So interestingly, when you look at secondary spread or metastasis, location is also predictive of metastasis, and I've never seen a soft tissue sarcoma below the knee or the elbow metastasize. Now, why is that important? Well, if you've got a big, unresectable mass on an extremity, and you have a dog that can't handle an amputation, um, then it's reasonable to just leave the tumor there because it is never going to spread. And so it's not, you know, even if um, it's causing a local problem, through uh, ulceration or um, uh, necrosis or something like that, it's not going to metastasize. So if I have a patient that's tolerating its leg tumor really well and it's, it's not amenable to an amputation um, uh, or I'm, the owner's unwilling to amputate it, that's not dog, uh, certainly not a dog that I would consider euthanizing or something like that. So uh, 
location is important for secondary spread. So if we do get a dirty margin um, on a tumor, so we're sitting here and we've got a 75% chance of the tumor coming back if it's on the trunk or a 30% chance of it coming back if it's on the extremities, what do I do? Well, first thing that we could consider doing would be just wait and see, wait and see if it comes back. Um, again, in on a trunk or abdomen, uh, thoracic wall, something like that, you've got a 75% chance. If it's on the extremities, you've got a 30% chance. So what's a better option than taking that wait and see approach? Um, well, possibly uh, uh, the best option might be to go back and do another surgery. And uh, if we do another surgery and we get a clean margin, then um, that's going to almost certainly provide uh, good local control at about 99% um, recurrence free at five years. Now that second surgery may require an amputation if it's on an extremity, but remember that these are never going to metastasize. So, so uh, like a grade one or grade two soft tissue sarcoma that's got a dirty margin on an extremity and I can't do another surgery, I'm probably not going to amputate. I'm just gonna leave that alone and monitor and see if it recurs because you can always amputate later on. What are other options if we have a dirty margin? Well, another thing that we could consider would be radiation therapy if it's available in your area. Radiation is gonna drop your recurrence rate from 75% down to about 25% in five years. So that's very effective for preventing local recurrence. What's another option that we could consider if we don't have radiation therapy available would be metronomic chemotherapy. Now metronomic chemotherapy involves paroxicam and cyclophosphamide given every other day for the rest of the life of the patient. And that's been shown to be equivalent to radiation therapy as far as the local control is concerned. So again, you're dropping that 75% chance of recurrence down to about 25%. So that's also a great option. Although remembering that if you have a five-year-old dog with a dirty margin on a soft tissue sarcoma, you are talking about a lifelong administration of um, the metronomic chemotherapy, which is going to be quite expensive over time because you have to monitor blood work and things like that. So just to review, we've got a soft tissue sarcoma, which comprises about 15% of skin and subcutaneous masses in dogs. With this tumor, we're going to have two different issues to be concerned about. So those different issues include the primary tumor and the potential for secondary spread. Now, the best predictor of secondary spread is going to be the grade of the tumor. They're graded one, two, and three. With grade one, tumors have about a 5% chance of secondary spread. Grade twos are about 10%, and grade threes are about 50%. Remembering that chemotherapy does not prevent secondary spread with soft tissue sarcoma. So it's really, I, I don't really think that it's indicated in any, in any case. Now remember that the location of soft tissue sarcomas is also predictive of secondary spread, and I have never seen a tumor occurring below the knee or the elbow metastasize. As far as the primary tumor is concerned, our first option is going to be surgery, and when we do a surgery, we're going to check our surgical margins. What does that mean? Well, that means did we get around all of the tentacles of the tumor, and, um, and if we've got a clean margin, that means that our chance of local recurrence is about 5%, if we have a dirty margin, that means our chance of recurrence is about 75% if it's on the trunk, 30% if it's on the extremities. What are our options if we've got a dirty margin? Well, number one, we could take the wait and see approach and see if it comes back. It's not the ideal approach because once it comes back, it's really hard to manage. The other options are going to be to do another surgery, and that surgery can be either a local surgery. So if you've got a tumor scar here, we're going to go two centimeters around the entire scar. We could do an amputation, although that's generally not indicated unless the tumor is ulcerated or something like that. Other options would be radiation therapy and metronomic chemotherapy. Radiation therapy and metronomic chemotherapy are both going to reduce the risk of local recurrence from 75% to about 25% in five years. Now, I've got a couple of questions that have come up. 
uh, and I can't seem to find them on my phone. So I'll just answer them in the chat uh, below, or actually if you can re uh, replace or redo your questions in the chat or in the um, description uh, or comments uh, of the video below. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, please join our YouTube membership because that's where most of these videos are going to go in the future. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you again soon.